Pyra, if, Pyra, okay. That is also an option. I mean, maybe the idea is just a... Uh, Sword? Yeah. Smash that little boy. Sword was kind of my, like, in-head answer to this. Right. Not that that always works. So DM is coming from loser's side. We need to take two sets to walk away from this, the victor. Rodet's just looking for a one set win, and he'll be walking out of here with about $100 more than he came in. Must be nice. Yeah, it's, I'm not winning that money anytime <laughs> soon. Both players off to a pretty slow start, although as I say that, Kyra locks up some damage. We get the switch to Mithra. I think that's just the Mithra. Just like, I feel like, you know, the shoot just kind of get a lot of hits in quick. I feel like they're still trying to, like, feel each other out. I don't yeah. know if they played before already in tournament, or just in general over the weeks. Yeah, they definitely haven't played much today. We've seen uh, DM run through losers. I didn't even that. think that uh, Mrs. Magnet can take the uh, beat. Oh, that's an interesting interaction. Just throw it out. Yeah, just do it again. And there we go. Gets the kill with that up air, and we've got an early lead for DM. I feel like that this is a really good matchup against Ness because Mithra can easily get that damage in, and then Pyro just needs to swing the Yeah, that definitely makes sense. Mithra is racking up that damage now. This isn't day one anymore. People know how to punish that move. Absolutely. Ness just trying to get his footing again. It definitely seems like he's playing from a recovering position. I feel like Mithra would honestly be a really hard time for, for Ness. Just because of how there relatively we go. small and slender she is. Wow, good coverage on the recovery there. Ness not able to get a whole lot of anything from that positioning advantage. Oh, this is it. There we go. Up smash to kill. Just a little too high on that side, dude. Yeah, he is used to it a few times now, and it hasn't really paid dividends yet. It's a little chip there. Why do I feel like that dash is going to Wow, goes for the forward smash. Definitely reading a hard read. Yeah, maybe dash, air dash in, I thought. Alright, switches to the Pyra. Back to the Mithra. I like how he's like trying to get these kills on the edge with uh, Mithra or Pyra. But it's not a high enough damage, so he just goes right back to the foot. Yeah. Ooh, yep. gets an early kill. DM goes a little bit too low there. Still really good to avoid those side beats. Yeah, very interesting movement using the absorb. Because going towards you is really the answer, because you can't grab. Yeah, good point. But DM brings it right back, and we're on the last stop. Yeah, just like that. Finally connects one of those side Bs. Doesn't seem like the risk reward. What is, is this in like his 40 favor. Yeah. I really don't think it's that great of a move as, as spectacular looking as it is. It does look spectacular. Oh, catch them with that neutral B. Pretty big lead here on this last stock all of a sudden. Forward smash. Tilt. Tilt, sorry. Forward tilt. Doesn't quite kill. Forward smash would have. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Dash attack, and that'll do it. I think her, her dash attack is stronger than Ike's, the move it's based off of. <laughs> wow. Yeah, if that tells you something. A DM wanders off. Um, oh, stage. Pick yeah. spans. They're going to need it if he's going to bring this to a bracket reset. Good I don't know point. if that's going to happen, yeah. mind you. Just uh, putting it out there. Yeah, it's always potential. Game one goes to DM. Five more of those, and we got a winner. I don't blame Brodette, though. I feel like Pyramithra is another one that you kind of need to gain to gauge what the heck is going on. Yeah, absolutely. Two different styles, a different person. Yeah, whole new DM sitting hot, coming off of a couple of sets in that chair. True. Well, I just Tough. feel like they're uh, kind of like, you know, how no snake plays the same way. Yeah, yeah, everybody's got different moves they like. Well, I just feel like they have a high variance for player as well as snake. Good observation. Like DM, for example, doesn't mind busting that Pyra out earlier in the stocks. Some Mithra Pyra's are pretty averse to it. Ooh, nice catch on the air dog. This is the side B, and he's gonna get punished for it. About 26%, 40%. Not bad at all. Brings it to about a tie here. Just like that, loses. Quick thinking. 
Yeah, good call on down B there. Absorb some of that recovery from Mithra. Catch them with a dash attack on the charge. I like his use of a beat. Yeah, he keeps that out there. Just something on screen. It's a really good anti-air. It just come right above his head. Yeah, it gives DM something to think about for sure. Air dodge is past that. That's a pretty big knockback. Some fancy yeah. movement with that. Yeah, passive. very interesting movement using the PK absorb. Catch them with the smash. For being the light, nimble one, that forward smash still hits really hard. Yeah, it doesn't feel very light and nimble. It's another strong chain there, 45% on Ness. Has the crowd on the platform and up air. You Good thought it was his turn, it just never was not Ness's turn. Yeah, great shield pressure from Ness there, catches him with the up air for a kill. Ooh, roll behind, doesn't quite get anything out of it though. Punished with the grab into the up beat. And Pyra is out. Ooh, nice catch. Actually being able to punish that side B a little. He doesn't have his jump. Still doesn't have his jump. Good air dodge to stage there. Wow, good catch with the down. I can't believe that kill us. I don't yeah. know if that was bad DI, but... I don't but think he expected to get hit at all there. Probably thought he was going to recover the edge. Wow, that was a lot of damage right there. Nice quick one, too. A couple of PK fires, and all of a sudden... Puts him off stage, though. I feel like Mithra is just really good at doing that. Yeah, DM came ready to play for this Grand Finals, for sure. Doesn't quite get that off edge. He's back off stage again. And that's Pyro. Trying to cheese out this stuff. Good spacing on that one. He's putting pretty good pressure on another well-spaced sword. Catches him with the back air, though. Brings out Mithra again. Oh, just misses that. You really can't punish that unless you go around it, huh? Definitely. That was quick. Yeah, that's another kill with that Pyra up air. He's that getting a lot of mileage out of that one. Well, just like that, DM and Pyra are two-thirds of the way to a bracket reset. Uh, I do feel like this was starting to learn there, though. Yeah, that one looked a little better than the first game. We got the music counter pick. Another oh, snap. strange choice. Have Ends you ever played Black and White? Um, I can't say I have. Weird music. Gen 5 music, first of all. Bobby. Yeah. They actually had a one point hit uh, theme for when you were at Red Health. Oh, that's fun. Three, two, hey, one, if, uh, if whoever's out there could move that mouse a little bit, we're getting a little text on screen. And game 3 is underway. DM racks up a quick 40%. I'm surprised that he was able to punish that neutral B. But he's just coming in like a steam train. Yeah, he just always moves forward. There you go. Put on some strong percent there. Interesting that he chose to just get the damage of forward throw over trying to do a combo. Yeah, absolutely. I wonder if he's just feeling the pressure that he won't necessarily be able to make the actual link. Yeah, sometimes you gotta make those executive decisions. Like, do I want some damage? Why did that just send straight off? Pyra things. That was back then. Just Pyra things. Ooh, building up some damage now. This lead's getting a little scary for DM. It's not even that Ness couldn't get this kill. He's not being able to win them. Right yeah. Right Attaching them with that side B. He's starting to get some hits on that, too. DM is just making perfect use of the sword. This little child doesn't know what to do. Ooh, kills him with the back throw. All right, all right. 60% on Ness. That's not too bad. For it does death, stop though. the low percent uh, Mithra combo. Yeah, absolutely. Somehow sneaks out of that. I don't think it would have killed, but you never know anymore. Yeah, it's not. We're definitely, we're worried if we're Brodette right now. Uh, thankfully, for whatever it's worth, he is at zero, so. True. That rage isn't going to help. There we go. Oh, almost gets the second, but 13% on the board. Misses the pivot grab there, but unpunished. Wow, the side B again. Immediate, too. Tricky movement. Uh, wow, catches him there, though. 
Kills off the right side. DM's got the stock lead. Eyeing a bracket reset. Yeah, he's gonna need something, like some nice edge guard or something to keep this going. I can't remember the last time I saw Nesper out in offensive move. That's still connected? Yeah. There oh, we go. He's trying to get there that up hit. He's just about lapped and now though. DM with a what's become a sizable lead. Oh, that was a nice screen though. Ooh, catches him with the tail on the return. Ooh, that's it. Back throw will kill. All right, Kenji. All right, bring, keep it going. Yeah, Brodette making sure this game at least looks close. Let's see if he can cheese out one more stock. Maybe give DM a little something to think about. Ooh, the platform messing up that up. Ooh, he uh, was going for that damage. I guess you got to in this situation. That after image or whatever, the foresight. Yeah, I thought that was Bayonetta's thing. Honestly, I think it's better than Bandit's thing. Yeah, there we go. Gets the back throw down. off stage. Ooh. Wow. And he's going to win that game. Game he baited three. out that air, bug, air dodge. Does go to Brodette. Way to pull it out. He did exactly what he needed to do. Yeah, gets the kill with that up B at like 68%. He was trying that up B setup with a couple other games, but yeah, that was the that's, first time he did it in that game. That's definitely in Brodette's bag. He's pulled that one out a few times. He gets full mileage out of all those nest specials. The PK fire combos, the, the timing games with the down B. Even the uh, use of me. Steve. What? DM switches what? to Steve. What did I? What? What? Okay. Oh. I honestly could see Steve being a real problem for Ness. Because yeah. he doesn't have to approach. You have to approach his Ness in this situation. And I feel like that's not necessarily what he wants to do with Steve. Yeah, I mean, it is Minecraft Steve. You gotta look out. Because I feel like a good Ness only has so many approach options. Like PK fire, maybe a grab. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I think you kind of about covered it there. Because <laughs> forward air isn't really a great approach option. In my no, mind. it's I pretty punishable. Air? I guess yeah. back air. I guess you could maybe like space a forward or a back air and it's relatively safe. He's keeping the damage going, but I still feel like Steve already has control on this game. Yeah, absolutely. Steve's had some time to mine. He's definitely controlling center stage. There we go, got a little gold. I can't remember what it's called, but that boost diamond. The red gem, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a redstone. Is it just that simply named? I think so. I'm not a Minecraft kid. Never was. Trying to get that little hit with the Mario yeah. Kart there. Those block play shenanigans. Doing a good job throwing off Rodette's timing. Doesn't not quite yet. kill. Wow. I actually don't know how heavy Steve is. Steve? I think he's above average weight. He's definitely heavier than this, I think. Yeah. Got a diamond. That's big. Perfect opportunity to use it. You just got to get off on stage to get to that uh, workbench. Yeah, I think this will be the yep. moment. Yep, there it is. DM with that diamond sword out now. Steve just got much stronger. It does so much. And he's already starting to work towards another. Yeah, it's, it's a tough situation right now if you're Brodette. Seeing that diamond weapon come out. Yeah. Wow. It doesn't kill him, though. He's got gold. I would have been a little mad if he was under 100. Not even at the edge of the stage. Close to. Yeah, it was. Catching with that down tilt kindling. Oh, oh sneaky, yep. sneaky. There's the counter pick right there. I think we're seeing what DM had in mind when he selected the Steve. I don't know, does Brodette play anyone else? We've only I, seen Ness from him. Yeah, we haven't seen anyone else from Brodette. That's a good point. So, Steve honestly might be a really hard counter if he's going to keep doing those edge guards with the blocks. Yeah, that's when that massive character pool starts to rear its ugly head for Brodette. DM can just pick into a favorable matchup. Brodette's got to try to win the bad matchup. Ness is doing a good job of uh, avoiding these blind cards, though. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like one of the more annoying things Steve can do outside of his diamond sword. Yeah, he can just have something on the screen. That forward, that forward air. Ooh, good presence of mind there to break those blocks with the forward air before going for the up B. No, he didn't even up B, he just hit us. Yeah, I guess instead of going for the up B is a better way to word my point. Uh, no, no, you go. Yep. But all that being said, Kenji is down nearly a full stock here. We've got Diamond Sword Steve just playing it yeah. slow. Yeah. 
He does catch him with that cart, and we will be seeing that bracket reset. I wonder if we're going to see any character change or if TM's just going to stick with the Steve, because that looks pretty dominating. Yeah, I assume you stick with the Steve, right? Like, he only got like a win from last stock situation, but like it still looked like he had that game. Absolutely. Going nope. back to Mithrathira, okay. Just wanted to throw that out there just so he knows yeah. the fear of what could come. We are in true grand finals now. Three, Have the bracket two, been reset. And where else but PS2? Tepid start from both players. No one's landed a hit. There we go. Ten seconds in to get some first blood drawn. Ooh, nice combo breaker with the Nair. Pretty Definitely. much match damage with both of those Oh, players. finally got the double side B combo. PK fire into PK fire. 50 damage just like that. But not to be outdone. Ooh. Luckily, that's going to send him up. But he has yeah, no jump. Close. Just misses there. Back throw. Now it's puts him off stage. Catch him with the tail, it. yeah. Well I think it was a little ballsy there on the hard part. Yeah, good point. Because he cannot be. And getting tapped with just the tails and up. Yeah, Brodette's edge guarding game with the tails of those up bees. Very strong. We've seen him take five or six stocks since we sat down. I'm glad to see that he still has some gas in the tank. Bracket resets can be rough, especially uh, when you're on the winner's side. Throws the tilt the wrong way. Oh, he, he went for it. Yeah, he doesn't get the up B underneath and gets punished for it. So about a 60% lead going into this stock. I wonder how Pyro Sports match matches its strength with the rest of the cast. I bet it. I bet it's on the upper half. Yeah, definitely. I wonder if it's stronger. Or st I think it's stronger than Rollers, right? Um, depending on spacing, definitely. I think even Sweet Spot Roy. I think it's still stronger. That's that's terrifying. I am talking knockback over damage. Okay, fair enough. We're seeing an explosive second stock. Some real back and forth action now. Happy to see Brodette find some footing. His DM did kind of roll on him the first couple of games. But it's a fresh start. Yeah, it's a new bracket. Here, but he at least has a fresh uh, slate to work with. There we go. Gets the up air kill off of the side B catch. Just misses that follow up there. Now Ness finally gets to play on his back foot. Yeah, starting to pepper him in with some of those obnoxious projectiles in his kit. Wow. Doesn't die from that, just barely. Some great DI. That might do it. I don't it. think so. That move doesn't oh, kill very no. easily. Well, I've been confused to why he's been going for it for so much. It's just some damage. Yeah, it takes up a lot of space, too. Get, get off me, really. Yeah. Just living, though. Still living. That's another neutral air to break out. I think these side views are going to be beautiful. Yeah, catches him with the tail. Oh, just misses another cheesy kill. I actually thought he was dead. I thought he had him, yeah. Alright, there's the stock. Still in the lead. Must be nice. Yeah, this is one of the longest leads he's held. Unfortunately, now he's doing a low percent myth run. Yeah, this is a tough situation for both players, really. A couple of explosive characters just looking for a mistake. Misses the down smash and gets caught by that recovery. He's in a good position to punish that for him. Good jump there. Dodges the side beat. Alright, a little bit of feeling out there. Moments breather for the two players. Both of them formulating a plan here. How are they going to end this game? Oh, gets him through the shield there. And that's huge. Absolutely huge. I guess that's why I was going for the side beat for the easy follow up. Yeah. Just happened to get it at a good percent. Game one of the resetted grand finals bracket going to that's, DM. That's a rough game for uh, Dudet, Brodet. Brodet, yeah. To, to lose. Absolutely. To get the reset and then drop the first game of the reset, there goes the lead. I gotta give it to him. I, he's been still keep going. He hasn't really seemed to slow down at all, even after this many games. No, it doesn't feel like Brodet's choking. It just feels like DM's on another gear. Like he just shifted in the. Shifted in the high speed. Right back to PS2. Yeah, I, I think that if you're Brodette, maybe you do something different. Slow this thing down. Like, I DM. Smash, yeah, DM's absolutely rolling. Just spend a little time in character select or something. Try to slow this momentum down. True. Like, you're just going right back to the same stage, same matchup that this guy's been beating you in, you know? 
gotta do something to keep that tempo in your game, your ball court. Yeah. I'm surprised that down smash actually connected. Even if it wasn't only the charge of Fox. Good point. I was kind of confused as to why he was going to down smash, because I imagine the sword from Pyro was just win. Yeah, it seems like that interaction's not been going the way he would like, but I guess you gotta play your game, you know? Like, maybe he won't recover with the sword, and if he doesn't, you want that Leo yo there. Wow, spikes him. His bad placement. Yeah, that's that's tough. This is the side here. I don't think he's in punish range. He does it right back. I think that first one was a mistake, and the second one was call out. Yeah. Gets, gets the, the back, back throw, throw kill. Yeah. We're right back into the blender here. Ooh, goes just over his head. I thought it was time for a back to show. He hasn't thrown that out really once. There we go. Gets one of those PK fires into a grab with combo damage. Quick 51%. That's the lead. I'd like to see Brodet take a game. He went for it again. Yeah, I'd really like to see Brodet take this game. I think it's a little too early to say one way or the other, though. Oh, yeah. No, we're we're far from a victor here. But I think that if DM goes up 2-0 after resetting in such convincing fashion, that uh, Brodet might be staring at too tall a hill to climb. It's a huge game for him. True. Yeah, why, we, is, why is that there sending that far? I don't know, but he follows up with another up air. And just like that, we're looking at the early game combos. Oh, Gets knocked off stage. Chance. There we go, yeah. Catches him with the yo-yo, and we are final stop. I think DM should have just gone to ledge instead of trying to hit with projectile. I think you're right. But that's why you put the yo-yo out. Yeah. Catch those mistakes if he makes them. He just racks up damage so fast. Mithra's just so overwhelming. And yeah. then you have just a kill box. Like a pyro. Absolutely. Just close that stock out. That was interesting. It Footstool, jab, block, up smash. What a clean, clean combo there. He's been sitting on that the whole set. Of yeah. Stuff. Gets him with that thrown sword. Footstool, jab block, up smash for stock and game. And DM goes up 2-0 in this resetted grand finals. We're going to find this nation for the last game. And we got the music counter pick. What's he got? That's a strange choice for Ness, though, against a sortie. Fatal Blooms in Midnight. What franchise? Um, I didn't catch it. I think it was Kirby. Interesting. It feels pretty Kirby. I, I can see Kirby. My first thought was Final Fantasy, but I wasn't sure. It sounds like a Final Fantasy Green. name. Fatal Blooms at Midnight. Moonlight, okay. For like the soft piano, I'm getting Kirby vibes for sure. I am glad that he picked a different stage from PS2, but I feel like Final Destination is really good. No, I don't think that's better. I'm surprised he picked it. Wow. He has nowhere to retreat to. I still think Smashville would have been the choice, but we're here. Yeah, it's, it's too late now. Already over 100, like 30 seconds in. Yeah, he's racking up big damage. Not having any space to escape to seems to be making a big difference for Bro Dead. That was cute. He kill. did the same thing he did with Pyra, but with Mithra, with the up throw up air. We have just sprinted through this grand finals. I can't believe this is already potentially the last game. Yeah. And the way that this is going, it looks like it is going to be uh, last Yeah, game. I think this may be our last game of the night here. But let's not count anybody out yet. Brodeck got this far. He's a legit player with comeback potential. Ooh, nice. Catches that side B with the side B of zone. It's just, just looking really dire. That's why I feel like Final Destination wasn't a choice. But. Yeah, it did seem like a bit of a shock to see him take it to FD. At first I thought it was Mr. Pyrus choice, but I mean, obviously, it must yeah. be misses. Yeah, coming off the game win, this was a counter pick choice. Sometimes you just gotta tip the hat. Ooh, nice mix up with the upfield. Absolutely, first one of those we've seen all I got set. Him. All sets, plural. Yeah. 
Nice an with the, air dodge. Yeah, very clever air dodge there. Oh, here we go. Alright, a little damage. Oh, I saw the down air in another timeline. Oh, that would have been too saucy. I think with this is Rage, it would have done it too. Completely flipped the side on its head if he pulls that off. Ooh. Back air. Even the momentum is on court. He's got, the, ooh, catches him out of the side B. Oh, he's back off stage. Gets caught with the up air. He's not Brodette. Out. Tournament stock for Brodette right now. Catches a couple PK fires. Nice. Nice. With the charge. Keeps the pressure on. Doesn't let go. All right. Last stock. Let's see if we're going to be seeing a game four or if we're going home. With these early percent Mithra combos, nothing new. Those magnet pants. Yeah, he's got that crazy grip. Oh, he's just going straight to fire. He's just ready to end it. Yeah, it's looking bad. 100% on the Ness here. Cool movement gets down to the ground, but he hasn't been able to stick any damage on Pyra. Ooh, it's looking scary. He just needs one hit. Good cross up there, but DM is ready for it. Gets the grab punish, and that is going to do it. He put up a valiant fight. Like I said, yeah. he basically played six games in a row where he was in a losing yeah. uh, like foot. But he did a really good job of keeping his composure and putting up a good fight. Yeah, absolutely. A very strong showing from both players. Just a little bit stronger from DM, who will be walking out of here, the winner for the evening. Congratulations. Brodette. Yeah, congratulations to DM. Congratulations to Brodette on second place. A True. great showing from both players. He beat us. Yeah, easily. There's a reason that we're in the booth and he's still <laughs> playing. Just a great showing from all involved. And another great tournament here. Yeah. Uh, until next time, guys. Uh yeah, signing off. Yeah. Thanks, everyone, night. for tuning in. Have a good night.